Hello, you are sexy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put the user's mouse wheel to use for games and any kind of interaction in your Flash projects. I'm using ActionScript 3 and I'm working in Flash CS3 that way CS4 and CS5 users can get to my file and easily open it up as well as CS3 users. Nobody will be blocked off from using this or getting to the files or whatever. And what I'm showing you is how to put the mouse wheel into effect so the user can use their mouse wheel to interact with your objects on stage or perhaps you have a volume slider that you want to make wheel interactive on a player or something you can use it for any dynamic values or use it to manipulate objects on stage like I'm doing here and the reason why this tutorial is coming at you is because the next tutorial is going to be this Facebook game style board where people can zoom in and out on their character and all the land and they can also drag the grid around first thing I'm gonna set my stage to black give it a frame rate of 30 now I'm going to drag yeah let's make another layer on top let's put AS3 because that's where the code will go here we'll put site elements now on the site elements layer let's lock the AS3 layer on the site elements layer I'm gonna put three oval primitives okay now I'm going to right click this one convert to symbol I'm gonna call it blue bar movie clip and you'll notice I have a center registration set on that press OK this one I'm gonna convert to symbol movie clip red bar this one's going to have center registration also. Now this one, I'm going to give registration top left. When I create the movie clip out of it, there's yellow bar. I give it a top left registration, you'll notice. OK. And you'll see the difference when we interact with that object about center centering the registration and having a top left or bottom left, bottom right, top right, whatever, wherever you happen to put it. Okay, so to understand how to use the mouse wheel or allow the user interaction for the mouse wheel in my Flash applications, I went to the help section, Flash help, and in CS3, if you're using CS3, then you'll have help within the application itself, the help guide. If you're using CS4 or CS5, the help tab, I think, will take you online which has the same set of data I believe but anyways I searched mouse wheel and it gave me these results so I clicked on this and I read all about the mouse wheel event and then I saw the delta property the delta property indicates how many lines should be scrolled for each unit the user rotates the mouse wheel a positive delta value indicates an upward scroll a negative value indicates a downward scroll so what that means is if the user is scrolling up we're gonna have something that's above zero a positive number and then if they're scrolling down we're gonna get a negative number and I think it's three by default so knowing that we can set mouse event listeners for the mouse wheel here the mouse wheel event and utilize this delta property then we have all we need alright let's head on up to the action script 3 layer here highlight it the frame press F9 open the scripting panel first thing we'll do is add event listener to the stage this is a mouse event dot let's go down to mouse wheel here right there and then comma and the function we want to fire off when they scroll up or down with their mouse wheel and I'm just gonna name my function wheelie let's close that up now let's type in function wheelie this is the event of the mouse event so we'll get that in there I just want to open up my curly brace for my function and then close it off now this is going to be mouse event so let's copy that so let's right here let's type in event colon mouse event now like I said we can get to that delta
property. So what we'll do is first above this event listener let's make a couple of variables here. Let's make var and let's call this delta var. This is going to be integer and so that one's initialized. Delta var variable has been initialized as an integer type and this one is going to be zoom amount the amount that we want the value of the amount that we want things to the objects we interact with how much we want those things to change that's what that value is and we'll play with that number a little I'll show you what it does now we have our variables set up so what we're going to do inside of the function is we're going to take the delta variable which by default has no value yet but it's set as a, a integer type we're going to use the event dot delta property so that is the delta property of this wheel event that's happening while the user's mouse wheeling the delta property of this event so all we have to do is type in something like uh, red ball let's take the red ball for instance dot width plus equal now let's put in zoom amount right there so it's going to make it 20 bigger on the width now if we want the height to also here let's test this out and see if it works let's put our mouse on top of the red ball and zoom with the mouse wheel you see how the width expands and you'll notice that it's only growing what I'm going to do is put a conditional an if and else condition statement here inside of this function that's going to evaluate whether the mouse wheel delta value is true or false and actually you can trace right here let's trace the delta value or the delta var value every time the mouse wheels and show you what happened press control enter so every time my mouse wheel we get output see it's a positive three so let me wheel down now see negative three okay so what we can do is take that delta var that we get knowing that if it's going to be above zero a positive number that means they're scrolling up and if it's going to be below zero which is a negative three that means they're scrolling down we can utilize that information and program with it but like I said if you want the red ball to be uniform you just make the height so there's height now it should grow uniformly yep okay now we'll program in the logic we need to make it shrink up or down in size or control our values going up or down so right here we're gonna type in an if statement nest it off and then else we're also gonna give that let's just say else if just to demonstrate what's going on to you guys the best way possible and inside of this if condition it's going to be if this delta var happens to be greater than zero that means they're scrolling up remember so if delta var is greater than zero execute code here else if delta var is less than zero let's just swap this around the less than sign then we put code there so what we'll do is grab this where we had the width and the height adjusting on the ball whenever we mouse wheel let's grab that code and this is going to be if they're scrolling up so let's put that one there and if it's less than zero that means they're scrolling down let's put this here but we're going to change these to say minus equals so we say plus equals and minus equals here within these that way it doesn't change its original size before they start mouse wheeling that way it retains the size basically just kind of compounds adds to or takes away from the current size so now let's take a look at what happens. 
see it grows and shrinks according now I'm scrolling up and scrolling down scrolling up scrolling down now another thing you can realize is that this will work for any object you'll notice I have three objects there so what we can do to make it work for all three dynamically is just type in event dot target so let's replace wherever it says red ball event dot target event dot target event dot target now you'll see that all three interact in the way it's programmed to and you'll notice that remember we set the registration top left on this one so it doesn't zoom from center it doesn't zoom in and out from center that one you'll notice these we made center registration upon creating the movie clip so it has a center zoom in and out this one has a top left registration so it, that's how it zooms in and out but that's how we use the mouse wheel event and set up a listener for it and a function and within that function you saw how we can access the event dot delta hope that proves helpful to some of you guys and we'll see you next lesson where we'll mess around making that zoom in and out drag board around type game